Hey everybody, this is Chris. Uh, I'm creating this tutorial in answer to a question I had from a viewer. He wanted to know how to pass two variables to a single view. And what he wants, what he's trying to do is he's trying to personalize the blog, uh, the blog for my blog tutorial. And he wants to display the main blog post on the left while having a list of blog posts on the right. And what he's trying to have on the right hand side, he's having to have a navigation menu on the right where as you can click on the blog title, it'll show you the blog on the left. I'm not going to get into how into showing the blog, but I will answer his question of how to pass both those variables and to have the menu items show up on the right main uh, the main post to show up on the left. So let's go ahead and get started. And answer to your question, Rick, what we're going to do is we're going to have post, have this variable, as post find, and we're just going to find, for this demonstration, we're just going to find the post with an ID of 1. Okay? Now, if we want to check and see what we got, we can always hit die, D and D, post, sorry, die and dump post, that, Control S, go into here and right click and actually refresh the page and then we have the array we have here the array. So we know we're getting the information from the database. So we can continue coding. So we'll get rid of this. Next, what I did is since you want those items to be on the right, I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in a variable called items. And in here, we're just going to do just like we were getting all the posts and ordering them. So we're going to post order by. Let me spell this right first. Order by ID, and we'll order them descending. So descending order, and we're going to get. So we we'll get all of them. Uh, if you want to limit it, you'd simply take and say you had three I'm going to limit it to three this is what you would do but I only have two so I don't really need to put take two so get next we're going to go ahead and return our view so return view make home dot index and that's the view I'm using and in here, we're going to pass in both variables. So with post post and with items items. Okay, now let's go into the view. Here's my view here. Uh, I'm, I already have just bootstrap, that's all I'm going to use, just the CSS portion of it. So I'm going to start off by having a div with a class of container, which is a, actually a class in bootstrap. So the next one is going to be a div with a class of row. Then we have a div with a span, the class of span 4, and we're going to make it a well. Span 4, and we're going to make it a well. Okay, in this one, we're going to handle the main blog post. So, in here, we're just going to have an h1 tag. Right? And we're just going to pass in the post title, like so. I'm going to have a break. I don't think I need one, but I'm just going to throw it in there, just in case. And then, inside the paragraph tag, we're going to return the body. So, post body. Right, let's go ahead and save it and look and see what we have. Okay, I limit it to a 4. I need to do an 8. So that's simple. I'll just go back in here and span 8. Save it. Refresh. And there we go. So here's the title of the post. Here's the body. That's good to go. We'll go ahead and handle this menu on the right hand side now. 
still in the row class, the div, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a span 3. Make that a well. And then check this out. I'm going to throw it into a for each loop. So for each, like that, for each. Scratch that. For each, uh, where's that here? Item as I, right? We have a list item. Inside of this item, we're going to throw in this. We're going to throw in HTML. Now, this isn't going to work. Like, if you're not going to be able to click the link and it's not and take you to another one, you can do that on your own. It's the same as what's in the blog tutorial. This is just going to get you your links on the right hand side. So, I'm just going to say post pen post ID. And then here, I title, like so. And then, last but not least, we're going to have to end this for each. So, at end for each. Refresh it, and there we go. So, here we have the main post on the right, I mean on the left, sorry with its body and on the right we have links so I hope this answers your question Rick and like I said before if anybody has any questions you feel free to contact me on Twitter or in the comment section on YouTube and I'll be working on some more videos for data access I mean accessing data with Laravel since they're not going to change on Laravel 4 but anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps you out.